Good day, this is the latest video update on Tropical Depression Banyan or Ramon here in the Western Pacific. It's the 13th of October 2011, 8.30 is really 4.30 p.m. Philippine time. As we continue to watch the storm, uh, as the depression moving away from the Philippines, moving away from Luzon, uh, uh, located approximately 410 kilometers west, southwest of Manila. Which is right here, and the approximate location of the center is somewhere over here. Um, under the under the expansive cloud cover. Maximum sustained winds are at 55 gusting to 80 kilometers per hour. Uh, banana is moving west northwestward at 20 uh, kilometers per hour. As you can see, um, it has weakened down to a tropical depression from the tropical storm strength it had yesterday. Um, as it has weakened as it crossed the islands here in the central and eastern Visayas. As you take a look at the 2 km resolution, a wider view here showing you the core of the storm is now moving away from the Philippines. Expect um, improving weather conditions for much of Visayas and uh, eventually here in uh, western Luzon, particularly Palawan and Mindoro. But for the meantime, we still have rainfall, uh, light to moderate rainfall um, here in uh, across southern Luzon, uh, including Manila. Western Luzon as well, um, Mindoro, and even here in northern Palawan. You can see here in this infrared image, uh, still has uh, convective activity, pretty good convective activity actually. Um, the low level circulation center is somewhat disorganized as uh, noted by the JTWC earlier. However, as you can see, you do have some improving convection. Um, outflow remains good. Um, equatorward and poleward outflow remains uh, remains good actually. Um, again, yeah, showing you the convection activity it still has some over the much of southern Luzon and also here scattered across northern Palawan and even here in central and eastern Visayas, uh, sorry, central and western Visayas, going to be bringing some light to moderate rainfall around 50 millimeters or uh, or less. Um, as of 11 a.m. We still have signal warning uh, number one for uh, at least four provinces here, Mindoro. Um, actually, not four provinces, but four regions here, Mindoro provinces, Lubang, Batangas, and northern Palawan. Um, as as Banyan or Ramon moves away, expect those um, signal warnings to be dropped by uh, Pagasa. But as of right now, we still have to deal with rainfall. Um, as of six, as of um, this morning, we have already received reports of around 150 to 200 millimeters, <coughs> sorry, of, of rain across central and eastern Visayas, and also western Visayas reporting around 100 millimeters. Romblon actually reporting around 150. Um, Calapan area in Oriental Mindoro reporting around 150 millimeters as well. Uh, Legaspi Alba. Uh, reporting 150 millimeters as well. Um, Cebu reporting around 100 millimeters and um, even here as far north as Manila reporting around uh, 50 to 100 millimeters there as well. Quezon actually reporting around uh, let's see 160 millimeters. So we do have some widespread hev heavy rainfall amounts of uh, ranging from 100 to 200 millimeters across much of Visayas and south, southern Luzon. For today, we do expect to see maybe around 50 millimeters or even less uh, rainfall for today and into tonight. But again, as it moves away, we expect this rainfall to begin um, uh, decreasing in coverage and intensity beginning tomorrow and hopefully the weather clears out uh, by the weekend for much of the uh, Philippines. And as for the um, track of Banyan, uh, again, it is tracking under the influence of the subtropical ridge here in East Asia. But as you can see, we do have this trough um, diving down from eastern, uh, from central China, and it's weakening this ridge. But what, what it will do is influence Banyan to move and turn slightly more to the north and then by uh, Friday as the trough moves away another ridge will form here in southern China 
will act as a blocking mechanism and will influence and will steer Banyan towards the west um, and will eventually move towards the towards the direction of, of Vietnam by the early part of next week. In terms of strength, uh, you can see here in this wind shear map and wind shear analysis, we have this um, narrow finger of a very weak wind shear and 5 to 10 knots. Right now, Banyan is located in a moderate wind shear environment around 15 to 20 knots. But again, as it moves northward, it should encounter lesser wind shear, which could allow it to intensify back to a tropical storm um, by tomorrow. Ocean heat content, meanwhile, in the South China Sea is, is relatively weak, I mean, relatively lower compared to the Philippine Sea, as you can see here in the uh, graph. Uh, you do have color, uh, cooler waters and lower ocean heat content across the South China Sea, but still favorable um, for slight intensification. That is why we do think it could uh, still re-intensify back to a tropical storm in the next uh, two days. As for the track computer models, again, showing a general consensus of a northward track and then a turn to the west, eventually moving either towards uh, Vietnam or here in Hainan in southern China. JDWC siding on the southern um, half of the consensus, bringing it towards um, central Vietnam, approximately 400 kilometers south of uh, south of Hanoi by either Tuesday or Wednesday as a again, weak tropical storm as you can see JTW is expecting a peak intensity of only 40 knots so going to be a very weak storm as it moves across South China Sea and uh, actually expecting it to weaken um, before making landfall um, JMA meanwhile uh, putting up 24 hour uh, forecast only um, st showing you that the uh, general northwestward track away from Luzon and uh, moving across South China Sea. Pagasa also showing the same thing here on the northwestward track and also expecting this storm to leave uh, the Philippine area responsibility by tomorrow morning, Friday. And then continuing on across the South China Sea and then moving uh, northwestward as well there. But uh, I do want to note that uh, based on these tracks, um, especially here for JTWC and their long range forecast, if it does pan out, uh, it won't be the uh, wind, it's going to be the main problem, it's, it's the rain. Uh, as you all know, this region, this entire region have um, had to deal with uh, huge amounts of rainfall, heavy flooding, even as far south as um, Thailand, also here in Cambodia. Um, with the Mekong River here in, in, in Vietnam and um, yeah the whole region just uh, really uh, reeling from the effects of several storms that have passed this past few months remember <coughs> twin typhoons that we had and also that weak tropical storm that moved across and now um, could be facing another uh, threat here in form of Banyan a weak storm still going to be bringing lots of rainfall so um, always stay tuned right here for the latest uh, video updates and we'll have another one tomorrow and as for the text updates you can just always tune into our website for the latest um, forecast maps there as well but in the meantime uh, just stay safe as well for us uh, listening and watching here in the Philippines um, see you uh, tomorrow stay safe bye, -bye.